Hi guys, I just tried to do a video and got cut off when I was trying to get rid of a notification, so I apologize for that. Um, I want to do a tag called the Sentimental Tag. Um, it's not tarot related whatsoever, um, but I really love the idea. It's by a woman I started following named Taylor, and her channel, you can either find it under Bravely You, um, and she recently switched her name to Bravely Taylor. Uh, if you're interested in this tag. Um, so I do have one deck that's more sentimental than all my others um, that I'm going to include in this, but it's mostly scrapbooks and pictures and jewelry and stuff and stuff for my grandparents. Um, so let's start, let's start with them. So here's a scrapbook that I made um, of my grandparents. So these are obviously pictures that I collected from them and then put them in this pretty like vintage style frame. Um, I'm gonna show you all of them, just you know, a quick, quick flip through. Um, and this one, nope, not the mess. Where is, oh, over here. I'm not organized anymore because as I said, I just tried to do this once before. All right, so this one is of my son, Zachary. And, So it's in the hospital, and then I did a page for the month, and things like playtime, and bath time, and nap time, and <laughs> um, so these ones are all pictures that I've taken, and um, scrapbooks myself. Hope you can see okay. <laughs> I probably should do this turning around. Turning the camera around. But, um, yeah, so. Some of these pictures I did have professionally done. Um, and then others I did. Most of them I did. So that's of my son. Another scrapbook. Um that I cherish is, of course, the one of my daughter. And, oh, sorry, this way. <laughs> this way, just sideways. Oh, well. Wow, okay. <laughs> this way, it goes this way. Um, so, the hospital, and then I have a page for visitors, and um, coming home. Um, Oops. The page coming out the bottom here. I have not finished her scrapbook. It's still, uh, it's still a work in progress. I know she's five now. <laughs> and it looks like the sticky have um, started to fall. It did um, probably got jostled in the car right over, but I'll fix that later. Um, and then the other one, when um, we first got our dog at four months, I scrapbooked his first year with us. So um, I picked this one for our dog. The very first dog um, that my husband and I own. So, yeah. I hope, I hope you can see these. My sweet Labrador Hershey. Um, and then, yeah, so through the seasons, <laughs> puppy's first snowfall and all that. And Christmas, of course. He even has his own stocking. Um... But, yeah, so, um, there's that one. And lastly, of course, uh, is a wedding scrapbook that I had done of uh, my husband and I. I have not scrapbooked in quite some time. I miss it. It's a lot of fun. Um, 
again just show you a few pictures so there's that um and oops, sorry then there's this this is of my mother and i um she passed away in 2010 yes <laughs> 2010 um so i keep this on my nightstand um so that of course is i'm sentimental um and the other thing is uh just some pieces of jewelry that like this was my mother's bracelet um oops okay this is this was not is was my grandmother's diamond ring um and i um I was given it uh, after she passed. It was in her will that I have it. And I wanted to wear her diamond and my husband's set. So um, I had it turned into a necklace so that I could wear. Um, so I cherish that. This is a pocket watch. My grandfather. Um, so, you know, there's that. Locket. And it's on a bracelet chain, which I think is really interesting. Um, this ring was actually my mother's though. Let's see if it'll focus. It's a ruby and diamond uh, ring. And this was um, my grandmother's also. Just, just a fun vintage watch, gold watch with blue crystals. Uh, and I, I don't know, it's pretty. I don't wear it, but it, it's pretty. <laughs> Um, another piece is this pretty snowflake, which it's got two, it's in silver and it's got two angels, um, in the middle, uh, and a crystal up here. And my husband got this for me the year that the Christmas of the year my mom passed away. So, um, super special to me there. Um, and some other pieces like this, this beautiful tree of life with the sun and the moon um was a gift from my sister-in-law and i i freaking love this necklace um and then there's i'm not sure if it's gonna hold right but this is um a necklace with zachary and madeline with my children's names on it there we go uh that my husband got me one year for mother's day so um there's that and then as far as jewelry goes my wedding day jewelry um let's just make sure the earring isn't so um it's pretty pearls and crystal like leaf and flower pattern um and i had these two bracelets on with it and uh the earrings look like that so you know of course those are very special to me um next from my grandparents this little doll she indian doll she closes and opens her eyes and I remember playing with her as a child I loved I love this doll and she actually comes with a stand I didn't bring the stand but um so yep I have her and <laughs> my grandmother had this baby um like tea set like little plates or little saucers and they're Christmas it's like I don't know if they were her daughters um, cups but they're adorable um, and so I saved these. Um, let's see. Okay, I think that's it. Um, oh, nope, I said there was a, one tarot deck. Yes, there was one tarot deck. So this, I actually decorated the box. I made uh, copies of the cards and um, decorated because it just came in a white box. But this is the Ritual Abuse Tarot. So if anybody grew up with... Um, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. There was uh, three books total. I, I did. I loved them in middle school. So these are the backs. And I recently required... Oops, sorry, upside down. Wait, no, they're not. The, the words are on the top. Most decks are on the bottom. So, But um, it's very, very Rider Waite Smith based. Super easy to read. Didn't come with a guidebook, but it's not needed. The card stock is this incredible, cool, like, pattern... Um, not pattern, texture. I want to say texture super durable amazing cardstock i wish all decks were done um in this cardstock but um 
yeah, so as much as I love my everyday witch, which is like, it was my number one. This is now my number one all time. Like if I had to save only one deck from a burning building, it would be, it would be this one right here. Um, I freaking love it. <laughs> I freaking love it. Um, so, and I can't remember where I got it. I think if you just type, if you're interested in this deck, um, it's not from the original, um, artist. It was a gentleman who paid, paying tribute to the creator of these images and he made the deck. But if you type in ritual abuse tarot, um, you'll easily be able to find it. And it was... It wasn't that expensive. Um, trying to remember, thirty, forty dollars, something like that, maybe. But uh, yeah, yeah. I just. <sighs> All right, guys. So that is it for this video. I hope you like it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. See you later.